Hello everybody and welcome back to A Plague Tale Innocence. We are continuing on in chapter 16 today. We have almost made it to the cathedral where Vitalis is waiting for us. Our friends are on the other side of this deadly walkway that is littered with archers. So when we're ready to move on, we're going to go ahead and examine this cart. The cart! Roderick! If we push it to the port, Kallis, it will give us cover. Hugo will be protected behind it. Hey! Leave it, Amicia. What are you doing? Stay back with your brother. I'm pushing. Roderick, let me help. I'll be fine. If you want to help, keep an eye out for guards. All right. So I find it easiest just to stay crouched and looking at the shadows of where the cart is. It's actually pretty deceptive how close to the front that the archers can get you from. So I like to just move nice and slow and stay low. We're gonna have three guys in front of us pop up that we're gonna have to take out with our sling. Fortunately, none of them are wearing helmets, so that makes this much easier to deal with. I'm also not quite sure why Amicia couldn't have tried to cover Roderick a little bit with the sling. Amicia, Possibly they're just too far behind us and we can't get to them. We don't have the range. I don't know, but it seems like we would be able to do something. There's going to be five guys behind us, so just follow along and take them out. I just need a break. Oh, Roderick. Buddy. We're, we're here. Come on. Come on. Oh, that looks so painful. Oh my God, Roderick. I'm a bit better. I'm right behind you. All right. The fact that he's still standing and he's still going, even with that arrow in his shoulder, is incredible. He's got to be working Hugo, purely go. off of adrenaline and willpower. Your turn. Hugo, come on, we have to go. That's so sad that he dies holding Hugo's hand. And it really breaks my heart that he feels the need to apologize, because what does he have to apologize for? I guess just not being able to make it to the end with us. But like Arthur, he saved our life multiple times. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. Many, please, no. Those bastards have to pay. I'll make them pay. Our priority is to stay alive and stay together. That's why Roderick and Arthur sacrificed themselves. Just leave me alone. She's right, Melly. Roderick. He's gone, Hugo. He's resting now. I can't take any more of these bloody rats! Bastards! But they're going to get us too. Really? How? Like this. How do you... Wow, oh, it's... It's right. Hugo, tell me you're going to help us kill those bastards. Melly, we've got no chance without your brother, Amicia. You get that, right? I will help you, and you're going to help us save Mummy. You've got yourself a deal. 
one final push here. We still have to go on without our friends. I think it's also just really sad when your friends die because everybody is a survivor in this universe and it's got to be so hard to find people that you like and that you get along with and people that are your own age who understand your struggles and then to lose them on top of everything else that you've already lost is just so incredibly tragic and heartbreaking. I decided to lure that guard back towards the rats because he will come back this far and it's just a really easy way to take him out. We have quite a few guards waiting at the front gate here. You can see we've pretty much made it right to the cathedral. But that guy is just sort of on his own. So I like to kind of take him out. And then you can see we've got a couple of archers and we have a few guards that have helmets. Archers tend to give me a little bit of difficulty because they've got range on their side and so I'm gonna just kind of back away here and keep myself in enough cover that I won't have to worry about getting an arrow to the chest and we should be able to get the rats to take care of uh, these other guys no no problem <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So now it's just the archers on stage to take care of, and that is it. And obviously, not having to worry about the rats worked amazingly here because we don't even need to control the rats in this section. They are just out in the open, absolutely littering the ground and they can really work to our advantage. So Melly and Lucas will automatically go up onto the big platform there, but don't follow them just yet. Before you do that, you'll want to look to the right of the stairs and we have our final collectible here. The Inquisitor's Manual. Are you serious? Was that your manual for this shit? It was written before Vitalis. We're gonna make sure there won't be a second volume. So that is the last collectible in the game. So you should have every single collectible achievement up to this point, and all that's left is to head into the cathedral and to defeat We're the Talus. Talus, Amicia, he's going to do something very bad. I can feel it. Bad? Like what? Excuse me, but whatever he's up to, we're here to kill him, right? He's about to start. Let's go, Hugo. Mummy's in there. <sighs> These guys are gonna try and stop us. <laughs> but... Lucas, Melly, stay where you I don't are. think that's gonna work out so well for them. You'll die if you come down. Amicia, there are rats down there. So tell them to come out. Go on. Very well. So it's really just the archers here that I'm concerned with once again. The rats will take care of everything else. I didn't even need to pay any attention to those guards at all. Now, if they are just gonna camp there, then I'll send the rats to them. And then these two guys with armor will have their flaming weapons, but we just need to wait for them to come far enough into the rat pile so that they can't run away. I love feeling invincible. It's just a great feeling. <laughs> After all the struggles, everything that the Inquisition put us through to just get to the very end and feel like you're untouchable is just absolutely incredible. We're coming for you, Vitalis. 
some family. Yeah, we're a special bunch. Lily. The Darun family. Help me. No one else must get in. Here we go. This will get you nowhere. You don't want to understand, Beatrice. Mommy! My child. Hugo! Amicia! Mother! Did Vitalis do this? He sacrificed them. He's past the threshold! Go get out of here! Oh, for pity's sake. Hugo, are you ready? Yes. The rats are here. Then let's go. Stay close to me. We're coming too. Let her go, Vitalis! This is your last chance! Well, well. Hugo, your power! You have to be careful! I'm fine! Don't worry! Yes, he's a very gifted student. Too bad he's forgotten who taught him. Everything you know. Shut up, you old fool! We're here to kill you, not listen to your speeches! And yet, look at you, walking towards me like lost sheep to their shepherds. That's enough, Vitalis! You're alone! Give us back our mother or... Oh, what exactly? I still have things to teach the carrier and his friends. <laughs> You're so Touching. Thank you. Thank you for your candor. Do you hear them? The angel. The angel of the new world. Get back! The light, see? I saw it. Well, that explains what he was doing with all those white rats. That's not good. Alright, so here is part one of this fight. We just need to inch our way towards Vitalis, and once you get there, you will get a checkpoint. So just take this nice and slow. His white rats that he's going to send towards you are immune to fire, but we have to work with Hugo's rats, which obviously will get stopped by sources of light. So what you want to do is send Hugo's rats towards Vitalis' white rat natos as they come towards you, while keeping in mind that the flames might get in your way. The rat natos can be a little bit difficult to see coming if you're feeling overwhelmed or not paying attention because they don't make any noise or give you any really good indication that they're coming like we've seen earlier on in the game. So my recommendation for this is to kind of just take it slow. It's not a very long section, but it can be frustrating if you have to keep repeating this over and over again if those rat natos kind of sneak up on you. And then before long, you'll get right to the talus and you can start the second part of our fight. Mommy! Hugo! Amicia! He must not abuse his power! We're going to get you out of there! Oh, thanks, guys. We'll take care of it. Hugo, you feel it too, don't you? But it scares you. The true power, the gift of self. Alright, here we 
we go. First things first is you want to stay on the sides of this arena. That's definitely the most important part. For this first phase, you can just stay to one side. He's going to fire these towering rats towards you, and you don't want to get hit by them, obviously. He's going to do that twice. And when he stops attacking, we can send Hugo's rats towards Vitalis. The rats will hit him, and then we can hit Vitalis with a rock after that. So we need to do that three times. If you need supplies in between, they're over here on either side of the arena. The most important thing is to keep the middle aisle clear so that Hugo's rats can get through. The second time, he's going to add a new attack in where he'll send rats out underneath your feet. And then just to make things even more difficult, he's also going to drop down lanterns uh, for you to extinguish. So I'm gonna get myself positioned here on one side, hit him, and I'm gonna get ready for the last final attack. Now this time he's just gonna get a little bit faster and a little bit more dangerous. He's just gonna do more of the same thing here. So once you get the hang of it, it's not too difficult to sort of anticipate what Vitalis is doing. I think the most difficult aspect of this fight is the aspect of speed. Um, if you hesitate even a little bit, it's very, very easy to get hit by the rats. Or if you're just too slow taking out the fire or anything, there's just really not a lot of room for error in this fight. Uh, it makes you be very, very quick on your toes. But I think that should be it. There we are. He's finished. You should have worn a helmet, Vitalis. It's over. He can't hurt you anymore, Hugo. And hopefully that ends the Inquisition's terror over the land. Once that fight is over, the game is pretty much over. Now, we are going to get a short bit of credits here, and there is technically an epilogue to the end of this game. So we do still have one more very, very short chapter, which is going to go into detail about what happens after this point. So I hope I was able to explain that boss fight well enough. It's a little bit overwhelming with the amount of multitasking I have to do while also trying to do commentary and be coherent. So let me know what you thought of that fight. It is not an easy fight the first time you play. You're not really allowed to make a lot of mistakes. It's very, very precise. Uh, timing and you just really have to be on your feet but I think it's a pretty unique boss battle I like that they finally talked about those white rats because we had only seen them briefly back in chapter 14 I think it was and there wasn't really any mention made of it after that point so I'm glad that it was sort of tied in at the very end. 
And if we hadn't stopped Vitalis, that would have been extremely dangerous. He would have been able to control the rats and they would have probably had free roam because they were not stopped by light sources at all. So there's the end of our very brief little credit sequence there. We'll get more credits at the end of the next video. So I hope you'll join me as we head into the epilogue for this game to see where they are now. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.